Hello, I'm Ari and this is Shamelessly Creative. I thought it would be nice to kind of keep the books out of my art haul. So I'm doing this little separate book art haul video for you. These are the books that's, that have come in the end of August through October. Some are Kickstarters and some are just art books I've picked up along the way. So this first one is Milk of Melancholy, Art of Cosmic Spectrum. I believe she's doing a Kickstarter for this one right now. This book has like the holographic edges. So I grabbed this art piece because I really like this one that she did and it will match the colors in my new art space. This is her artwork from 2016 to 2019. She had her first art book was In Absentia, and this is her second art book. She also did a 250 page graphic novel called Grimoire Noir. Um, she talks about Inktober. And this was Inktober, I think. Twenty nineteen and twenty eighteen. Just beautiful work. This is one of my favorites. You can see a YouTube video of this one. Check out her YouTube. Yeah, it goes through her process as well. Great little book. I enjoy her portrait work. That's why I picked it up. You can pick it up in her shop or the Kickstarter. You can get other goodies along with this book. Another not so new book. This is Fairies by Brian Froud and Alan Lee. I had one many years ago. They're one of the original ones. And my love of fairies, I just decided to pick up a new one. Well, a used one. I got this on eBay. His they art is just wonderful. It's one of the people I really enjoy that does Fay work. Again, this is the Fairies 20, 20th, 25th edition, 25th anniversary edition by Brian Froud. Great, great little book on fairies. This one just arrived. It's another Kickstarter. This is one of the pieces that came with the Kickstarter. I just did a tier one, which was the book. And these are all rewards for unlocking more and more tiers. But she does food art, which I'm interested in. And I haven't shown you my July watercolor yet, but I did a lot of food art for that. I love her work with light and shadow. Komorebi, her name is very hard to pronounce. Jalma, Jamila, Kampf. this is kind of her journey. Um, where did I read that? This is 3D Publishing. Our pledge is one tree planted for every book sold. If I were a superhero, this book would be my origin story. So that's 
kind of her beginnings, inspiration. Check her out on Instagram. She has so many fun styles. Digital gives you a sample of her workspace. Some digital tutorials. So really, I this so this should be out at 3D Publishing now. So if you're interested, just a very nice 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 book. As I said, I got this as a Kickstarter. Kickstarter is a great way to pick up um, artists art books if that's something you like to collect. I do for most of my my favorite artists. And if you're familiar with Apple's work, she's a Korean artist, one of my favorites. She does Forest Girl. This is a coloring book. It's soft cover. I have her regular books as well. I just actually picked up her newest coloring book. I got the books and I wasn't really sure I wanted the coloring books. However, I just really love her art and wanted to support her. This one I haven't even opened. This is book volume two. This is a premium edition. This one has a thicker paper that you can, are, are supposed to be able to watercolor on. I'm not sure if, you, if I can or not. And I may not, do anything in here. These are a great way if you just want to get to watercoloring. You could scan this and print it and do that on paper or just use a light box and copy this onto paper so you don't ruin the book. That's probably what I will do is just use my light box and copy it and practice. So it's a great way to practice without taking as much time to draw your own thing. Just her art is just so beautiful. This was another one I picked up just recently. Apple's coloring book of the forest. This is Moments Holy for Yourself, her newest coloring book. They're like recollections of childhood. I just, I just find her artwork so sweet. This one is translated both in Korean and English, which is nice. Some of the older ones. Yeah, all these have the title of the work. Just, oh my gosh, it's so cute. That's one of my goals, is to make a character with, with a little animal buddy. Like, in our house we really like cats and bunnies. So it'll probably be one of those, but... So if 
you like Apple's artwork, she also just started a YouTube channel, so you can go over there and support her art channel. She doesn't post on there a lot. You can check her out on Instagram as well. These are her three coloring books that I've picked up over the last three months. And I probably won't ruin them by coloring in them. Oh, let's flip through this a little bit more. Christmas. Very inspiring. Apple, A-E-P-P-O-L-S. Korean artist. 70 East Books on Etsy is where I buy all my Korean art books. Coloring books, crochet books, sewing books, doll making, um, making doll outfits. 70s books, Etsy. Jean Baptiste Mange. This is his sketchbook two. I could not get his sketchbook one, and I hate that. I hate not having a full set of sketchbooks. But this is available on Etsy. But again, he is sort of Fay inspired. Darling fairies. Gnomes. It's out of Canada. Pirates, animals, dragons. Just a beautiful sketchbook. And it comes like with a little bell. which I've misplaced. But, beautiful sketchbook, check out his artwork. So the fantasy and fairy creatures imagined by Jean-Baptiste Mange have been thrilling us for more than 20 years. And as far as I know, I'm not overly familiar with his work. I just ran across this and I believe Papkins had it in one of her Instagram stories and just as you know i love fairies i have my february.com for the february art challenge and so to find another book about fairies was right up my alley so if you like fairies and fae this is perfect for you and last but not least i picked up cozy days art of Irabelle. Kind of her story. I picked it up. She makes her own watercolors and, and it says if you are just starting out it's best not to fear wasting expensive materials. And it says nobody needs a big set of colors and that is true. The more colors you have the more overwhelming it can be. Learning to mix your colors is, is probably the best bet. Lots of colors can be overwhelming like I said but they also you can find some fun colors like by Daniel Smith some of the watercolors I have coming in the mail soon have just really unique granulation so there are reasons to buy different watercolors but really you just need your primaries and maybe a Payne's gray or a brown to round out your set and colors and a simple palette is in a portrait or picture is usually best. But she gives you a tour of her studio, what she uses, her supplies. Her style is really unique. And it was one that I thought about trying out. But 
Look at her take on birds. They're just so cute. And she has the big eyed creatures and I am experimenting with that. I really like tiny eyes. Um, she does animals. She also has how to make your own sketchbook. I know in some of the YouTube videos we've been discussing that. Um, so she gives a little tutorial in this book on binding and putting together your own sketchbook. She does landscapes, just, and a lot of plants. So her style is really interesting and unique. I was hoping to be able to try some of her people, which are the big eyes. And actually my art snacks is why I tried a big eyed person. Um, I forgot what video that was, but that was with the Kurataki paints. And for some reason, I just, I, I, it's interesting. I like to look at it, but when I, when it comes to drawing, I like small eyes. So, or wide set, you know, like puppy dog eyes. So, but there's things about her style I do like, and that's kind of how we learn is, you know, do I like her use of color? Do I like her shapes? Does it inspire, you know, like all of her noses here are kind of the same. Here, they're all kind of the same, small. You know, do you like simple? Do you like complex? But since I'm going to be painting more people, I thought it would be nice to try different styles out. So, Cozy Days, Art of Irabelle. 3D Publishing, you can also buy this on Amazon. And we just took a look at some beautiful art books by... Brian Froud, Apple, Cosmic Spectrum, Art of Aravel, Komorebi, and Jean-Baptiste Mange. Let me know below which one was your favorite. I'd love to hear that. I love books and I now have a fascination for art books. So my collection is growing which you'll see probably in my studio tour reveal once the remodeling is done. The desk hopefully will be going in in the next few days. So I look forward to showing you around. Hopefully that video will be up before Christmas. <laughs> All right, I'm Ari, this is Shamelessly Creative and we just got creative looking through some inspirational artwork by several authors. Thanks for watching. I'm Ari. This is Shamelessly Creative. Take care, stay well. Bye.